Hey guys, welcome to day 146 of my carnivore journey. And uh, I hope you're having a good day. If you've never been here, then this is where I tell everybody what I eat, what I do every single day. That way you know, you know, what's going on during a carnivore journey and, and you have sort of a reference. Um, so subscribe if you want. Uh, but please join me. All right, so guys, uh, for those of you that are the regular people, let's get on with things, right? Um, so today I had bacon, eggs, and sausage right here. All right, so I got to say this. I ate just a little over a package of bacon. I had like 13 ounces of bacon, okay? So I... I bought a 24 ounce pack. It's like a double pack and it was, you know, so the savings was better. And, um, and I, and I made up the full 24 ounces. And like I said, I ended up eating like a piece over for the most part. Um, so like I said, about 13 ounces and, um, it was really good. Bacon was really good. It hit the spot tonight. I had six over medium eggs in there. Um, I know they don't look pretty. Look, guys, when I give you thumbnails, sometimes some thumbnails look better than others, but I want to take pictures of my food. But in all honesty, I'm not trying to make it look pretty every single time. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> but my eggs, hey, a majority of them turned out runny, like the yolks. Um, I just try to make so many eggs, and then I just don't flip them very good. You know, I'm just, I'm a little bit of a sloppy cook when it comes to the eggs. I could do better and I could, you know, probably take cook one or two at a time, flip them perfectly or something. I, like I said, don't worry about it. Uh, sausage. So what you saw on my plate, I only, I left maybe one large bite, I guess you would say, or two small bites, but I didn't eat much. I didn't eat much. I would say less than two ounces. Um, I don't know like the the breakfast sausage i guess because of the sage in it and stuff it it take it i hadn't had breakfast sausage in quite a while i just been eating beef so to me whenever i was taking a bite of the breakfast sausage it tasted like somebody left my beef next to some kind of incense or something like very perfumey aromatic you know that sage and stuff and so when you're used to nothing but salty and like maybe garlic and onion, but like when you're used to just those few flavors and savory foods, when you get like a breakfast sausage after a while, you really notice the sage and, and the other ingredients that are in there and it stands out and it wasn't pleasant for me. It, it wasn't, I don't know. I just didn't really care for it. Um, so, so there you go. I, uh, I have a bunch in the fridge. I might try to nibble at it here and there. I don't want to waste it. And I don't have my dog. Um, it doesn't look like I'm going to get my dog. I, I think my, my separated wife uh, is keeping the dog over there. Um, so I don't know. I don't know when I'm going to get Drago. Um, so it's just me. It's just me here. But I got... Um, but the breakfast breakfast dinner really good lots of food i'm i'm full and uh hopefully that'll keep me nice and satisfied and guys if you haven't seen um Ken Berry do his interview recently with the one um professor God, i should have been more prepared i just happened to think of this though um i'll have to try to see if i can link it in the description down below when i'm editing this video but essentially, he's talking to an expert. It's and it's, it's this woman. She does a lot of research stuff, and she really had a lot of great information, things about melatonin and supplements and things like that. And I don't. I mean, after really watching her, I really don't feel like I need to supplement. You know, I really don't. But anyways, you guys should watch that. She had a, a, a huge thing. So definitely, meat and eggs are like the way I really want to go. Uh, for sure. Now, as far as bacon, I like to have my bacon every so often. I just don't eat it regularly like I used to. But I think it's good to have on hand if you need that quick snack or something like that. 
uh, I didn't really have a lunch, so it was just a big dinner. Um, I did while I was cooking, or when I was getting ready to cook, I actually grabbed about like eight slices of pepperoni, like a little a little stack, and I just ate ate on that. And then uh, when the bacon all got done, I started snacking on the bacon. And so what you saw on my plate was just the last bit of it. But all I ate the other, you know, uh, eight ounces or so, whatever, off the camera or off the pit photo while I was preparing or while I was basically preparing the eggs and sausage. So <laughs> anyways, but I did cook the eggs in the bacon grease and I did cook um, the sausage in the bacon grease. Uh, but again, it just came out too flowery, too, you know, perfumey, if you will, or something. So, you know, at least I know that my tastes are really changing and it. And it almost is getting to me to think how, yeah, like sometimes people just eat those few foods. And then when they do try other foods, it's like they don't taste good to them. And that's not a bad thing. It really isn't. Um, other than that, um, Pretty decent energy, uh, slept decent, got up, did stuff around the, the new place, and hung, um, like, I don't know if you can see, I got a mirror back there I hung on the wall. Um, I also decorated or hung up some some pictures that I had in my, uh, in my bedroom. Um, but my bedroom is, you know, it's starting to look like a 10-year-old's bedroom, okay? I'm not going to lie, um, because I have Star Wars sheets. Uh, and, and, a, and a Star Wars comforter. And I had it from my son who never used them. They were brand new. So when I moved in this place, you know, I went from a king size bed to a twin twin size bed. So that was the only sheets I had, you know, to, uh, to save money. So I had Star Wars sheets. Well, I also, as you guys remember, in the back of, you know, my old studio, I had some Star Wars stuff you know the millennium falcon and you know things like that well now the stuff's in my bedroom to match the star wars theme so you know it is what it is <laughs> you know um but uh, but i did some stuff around went to my son's tennis match um and uh came home like i said i just i stopped by the store picked up some bacon you know came home and just made dinner and now i'm getting ready to go do some uh, Civil War tournament stuff on online. Pretty excited about that. And uh, I don't know. Like I said, it's been a pretty good day. And I'm going to be that. Remember that big surprise I told you guys about that I'm going to be unveiling soon? Um, it's still going to happen. And I'm going to work on it a little more, uh, probably late tonight or tomorrow. Tomorrow I got some laundry I got to go do, but I'm definitely going to be working on it and getting it ready to launch. I want to have it ready to launch by the end of this month, so I'm excited. All right, guys, we will see you tomorrow, day 147 tomorrow. Holy crap. All right, bye.